Hello and welcome back to this tutorial. Um, we're going to start adding a modifier, um, morpher modifier to our to our head. See uh, the rig for the face working. We're going to start with the eyelids and the teeth. So select the head, and we're going to open the eyelids and open the teeth. So actually, select the uh, the lips that we made. And uh, hide those. So hide. No, Right-click and hide selection. So that the only thing we see is the head. And reselect the head. In the selection panel in the modifier. Uh, select element. And then select the top two eyelids. Or does CTRL if you didn't already know. And then move them up. So they look like they're open. And then select the two bottom ones. And lower those as well. And then for the teeth, do the same thing like we did to the eyelids and move them up. Ooh. Right. As you can see it's gone through the bottom of the head. That's not good. So still with them open. Select the uh in the selection part, select the edges and then Move the edges so that they're, they're inside the. Uh, hold Shift to select the entire line. No, no. And then after you've done all that, you sh you should have a huge. A huge mouth, and his eyes are open. Now, we're gonna copy this about five times, so hold shift and move it over to the side. And the number of copies when the clone options come up, change that to about five. And then, we're gonna select the first head that we copied and we're going to change one of the eyelids so that they're closed so with the selection choose element and then choose one of the eyelids and close them And then with the, another one of the copies, not the same one, but the next one over to it, do the same thing with the other eyelid. Go back to the element. And Okay, and then with the next one over to that, close the teeth instead. Don't think we'll need the other two heads, but we can always delete those.
now for the bottom teeth we're going to have to do it slightly differently so it selects the first line move that all the way up that's the middle And uh, ignore the other two heads, I don't believe, think you need them, so just delete those. So now we've got one with one of its eyes closed, we've got the other one with the other eye closed, and then the teeth closed. So now click onto the, the very first head, with all its eyes open and the teeth open, and then go to the modifier list in the modify panel. And go to Morpher. And with when the empty slots here selected, go up to channel parameters and pick object from scene. And pick each head with a different slot. Pick object from scene. And after you've done that, uh, test it to see if it works. So, just change this thing to 100 and you see that it will close the eyes. If we try it with the other one, it closes the eyes. And if we try the teeth, it works. And the good thing with Morpher is that you could have them all selected. And it works. So put them all back down to zero. And then uh, select all three of those faces we created and uh, open the manage layers. window. You don't have to do this, but it's always good to be organized. And then create a new layer and name it something. Um, head poses is what I want in mind. And uh, add the selected objects. And then uh, don't hide them just yet, but keep them there. <clears throat> so we're gonna do all the morpher stuff now, and then we'll get to the uh, the the, re the rigging bit maybe in the next tutorial, or maybe the end of this one. So next, let's do the uh, the eyebrows. So what we're gonna do is. Uh, Convert the, one of the eyebrows to an editable poly and then attach the other eyebrow to it. And then we are going to copy it over to the other heads just for like a reference. Actually, the best thing to do is to copy a load of these heads. We're not going to use these for uh, for actual for the morpher, but it's it's good to have a reference for the eyes and the eyebrows when you when you got to put them over it. So copy the eyebrows over to 
each one of these heads. They don't have to be perfect over these heads, it's just it's more of a reference. Now we're going to make all the, uh, the expressions for the eyebrows. So uh, let's start with the the left one. So just like we did for the eyelids and the teeth. So select element and select on the eyebrows and. Let's go with. Uh, let's go with. Actually, let's do one for both. Just like a surprise one. With both of the eyebrows up. So that's that's one of them. I think. No, no. So go back and just put one eyebrow up. Something like that. And for the other eyebrow, just ignore that. Just let, leave it in default. And with another eyebrow selected, do the same with the other eyebrow. And then for another eyebrow, we'll do angry. So rotate that, maybe move it a bit. I think it looks right. And then with another eyebrow selected, do the same with the other one. Selected will rotate it the other way. Let's see. I think we got all the all the expressions. Just leave those other eyebrows and heads for now. I might use them for the eye the eyes. And then just like we did with the eyebrows, we're gonna do the same for the eyes, but Let's change them to black, just look nice. Yeah. Convert it to a poly, or a double poly, and then attach it to the other eye, and then copy them over. As you can see, it's not a like they have nice facial expression. Then copy these down to the other heads. And then like we did for the 
eyebrows, we're gonna get them in a certain position, so let's make these ones go up. So change this one with element selected in the eyes and move it up. About here. And then we have another eye selected. Make it go up. And just then select another eye. Let's make it go down. Oh, oops. Make sure you select element, not polygon like I did. We might need more faces. Okay. And this one go to the uh, the right from the perspective. And then the other direction. Wait, that's wrong one. Now we should have we should have every direction for each one. We'll go down, we'll go down. Let's go going that way, not going that way, not going that way. Yep, we got perfect amount of faces. Good coincidence. Right, and then like we did to the head, oh we should have done that for the eyebrows as well. I forgot. So let's do the eyebrows first. Select the, the main eyebrows, the ones that are going to be on our main face. Did for the head, add a modify list, go to Morpher. With Morpher selected, select each eyebrow with pick object from scene, with each empty box. Should really name these. So, yeah, I might put an open annotation at the beginning of the video to remind people because it really does help to be to name these things, which you will find out very soon, which I should have done. Pick them all and then test them and see if they work. Both seem to work well. Angry. Ah. Scared. Yep. Seems to work. Now select the eyes and do the same. We have a morpher in the modifier list. Select each eye, Let's pick object from scene,
the good thing is you can change these uh, these poses and uh, Morpho will update for that. Got them all uh, added. Test them and see if it works. Turn them all back down to zero. And there's room. Make sure you make sure you at least make sure you have the main eyebrows names and eyes and Okay. So that's worked out well so far. Teeth. And now we'll do the lips and then I think we'll end this tutorial after that. So uh Okay, go back. Unhide by name because it's quicker in a way, because you have to unhide uh, hide all the other things, so I forgot to change mine, so mine's top mouth, but you know, it might be different. So unhide that and then Gonna be similar to the. This bit's gonna be a bit experimental because uh, there's gonna be quite a lot of so just like we did for the eyes, the head and all that, uh, copy it over to the other. in the polygons selection uh, cut the four rows in the middle like I have and delete them it's got a, got a hole in his mouth and then we'll we'll Copy them over. This is experimental, so you may have to change yours. So just experiment and see what you can get. Not sure, so it doesn't need to be spot on, just good enough to give you an idea what it will look like on the main face. And then copy those ones down. Okay. So uh, 
that's the default one. So I'm going to be using the uh, the edges and possibly vertexes in this part of the mouth instead of the element tool because that won't work. So let's start by selecting these two edges on both sides and okay, let's have a look. select one edge on one side and move that in as far as you can. Just experiment, make as many different facial expressions as you want. You may have to change your uh, all the uh, face lips. Bit depending on how Morpher works, because sometimes it will, uh, when you're changing the face for a different pose, it will overlap, which can be bad. See if we can make him smile. You might want to use the vertex selection for this if you want. Might want to move the side. Actually, you can go back and just select them all actually, and that would work as well. You can kind of a smile there, a sadistic smile. Yeah, feel free to tweak it if you want, it doesn't have to be the same as mine. You might be able to do even better than mine probably. to use as small amount of edges as possible because Morpha will definitely have issues if, it if there's too many because it will have to overlap them which would be an issue. We can do a sad face as well. I think that's all the emotions 
I used in mine. Of course, you can you can do your own different poses for its lips and that. It's just this more just telling you how to rig it up. You can probably do far better than mine. So I think we'll leave it at that. Yep, so in the next tutorial we'll um we'll finally get to the bits where we rig all these uh eyebrows, the eyes, the face, the eyelids and the mouth. We'll leave the mouth bit till the very end because that's gonna be the most complicated bit. Oh hey. <laughs> before I go, let's uh do the morph a bit. This the this the bit where can all go wrong, so I can't believe I forgot that. Like we did for all the others, pick for options we've seen. Now you'll probably have to tweak them after this. So test them, they probably We'll have some issues if you're trying to add two of them at the same time sometimes. Not always, but like that. See? They're overlapping. You get some sort of sideways mouth. But as you can see it's the faces are overlapping and that's bad. So if you wanna make sure you can use the them like that, it's you gotta tweak the edges. Oh, that actually works. <laughs> yep. So, yep. Feel free to tweak them if you want to optimize it. Don't forget you can always delete some of these edges in each one of these. But you'll have to do it for all of them if you're going to delete the edges. But you might want to move them in every one of them so that they're not in the way, so that they don't overlap sometimes, which you can do. So I think we'll leave it there. I think I've forgotten anything this time. So yeah. The next tutorial we'll get onto the rig, finally. And so yeah, so uh, if you like the video, like it. Uh, subscribe if you want to. Uh, unlike it. If you didn't like it, uh, feel free to comment if you've got any questions. So, uh, see you in the next tutorial.